Good day, learner, parent, and guardian. Welcome to our science class. I am teacher Jen, and I will be your teacher for this module. Today, we will be learning another ways of separating mixtures. Are you excited? Then let's begin. After going through this module, you are expected to identify the differences of physical manipulation and evaporation, classify mixtures that can be separated through physical manipulation and evaporation, and explain their importance. I am sure you are excited to get started with this module. However, there are things that you need to remember for you to learn the most of this module. First, take the pre-test before proceeding to the lessons. Your score in the test will give you the idea on how much time you need to devote to each lesson. Second, read the instructions and bear in mind some precautionary measures when doing experiments. Third, before doing the activities, make sure that the materials are already prepared. Fourth, Answer the exercises and assessment activities and compare your answers with the key for correction. Fifth, make sure to answer the post-assessment for you to measure how much you have learned from the module. And lastly, make this module free from any marks. For the parents and guardians, please guide and assist your child while doing the activities found in this module. Take time to watch this video with your child to be able for you to assist him or her in his or her learnings. Feel free to contact the teacher of your child for clarifications regarding the contents of this module. I am looking forward for your participation and active involvement for the attainment of the objectives of the lesson. Learner, Let's find out how much you know about the lesson by answering the pre-test in What Can I Do part on page 3 of your module. Read and understand every question before choosing your answer. After you have answered this part, you compare your answers with the answer key found on page 14. If you got a score of 10, you may not proceed with this module, but you are still encouraged to go through the activities. If you got a score of 9 and below, take 50 minutes each day to read the lesson and answer the activities that are given. Let us check how much you mastered our past lesson. Tell me if what I say is true or false. Are you ready? First, filtration is used to separate solid component from liquid component in a mixture. Is this true or false? Very good, true. Second, filtration is used to separate the components of solid mixtures. Is this true or false? Very good, false. Third, sieving uses strainer to separate components of mixtures. Is this true or false? Nice one, true. Fourth, Sieving is used to remove dust from the air we breathe. Nice one. False. Lastly, the purpose of sieving is to separate bigger components from smaller ones using a strainer, screen, or mesh. True. Very good. I am glad you understood what we have learned in the past module. Now, I believe you are ready for the next lesson. For you to clearly understand what the new lesson is all about, try to do the activities in the What's New part on page 5. Prepare all the materials you need before you proceed. Ask the assistance of your elder siblings or your parents in doing these activities. Write all your observations in your answer sheet. How did you find the activities? Have you learned something new? The activities you just did are some ways of separating mixtures. Let's see. In the first activity, you performed an example of physical manipulation. We will discuss more of this as we continue. 
physical manipulation. Physical manipulation is a technique used in separating the components of a mixture by using the hand or any instrument. This process can be used only if the components of the mixture are big enough to be seen and picked up by hands or other picking instruments. You use this process in cleaning the rice before cooking. You use your hand to remove stones and other foreign objects mixed with the rice grains. Do you know other mixtures that could be separated through physical manipulation? List them down in your answer sheet. What are examples of activities which we apply physical manipulation? Can you name some? We use this technique to remove stones and other foreign objects mixed in the rice grains before cooking. We also use this to separate the coffee brands from the coffee beans. We pick colorful pebbles from river sand for decorations too. There are lots of things we separate using our hands or picking materials and we do this one every day. But why do we use this technique? The first reason, it doesn't need any special machinery for the separation of substances. Another reason, it takes less time when used for small quantity. The next technique of separating mixture is evaporation. This technique is commonly used to separate solid components of solution by making the liquid component evaporate. As the mixture is heated, the volatile substance evaporates at a temperature that is lower than the boiling point of water. The heated liquid absorbs the heat and changes to vapor. The non-volatile substance stays at the container. Evaporation is used to produce salt by evaporating seawater under the sun. Study the picture. Let us study how to separate components of solution using the technique evaporation. First step, put the solution in a pan and place it on top of heat source. Second step, let it boil until all the water evaporates, leaving the solid particles in the pan. Third, turn off the source of heat when only crystallized solute was left in the pan. What are the importance of evaporation? It is used to evaporate in many products. It is used to create concentrates such as juice concentrates. It is also used to dry whey or lactose into powders which can be used in new products like infant formulas or protein shakes. It is also used to produce dried fruits and vegetables. Another important set of evaporation are, it is also used to produce salt. It makes our body cool because of the perspiration and evaporation that happens when we feel hot because of the warm weather. Do you have any question or clarification about our lesson? Feel free to ask your parents, guardians, or elder siblings. You may also contact your teacher. If you think you understood the lesson, you may now proceed to the exercises and assessments. Three sets of activities and assessments are provided for you to enhance your learning. Answer them according to their order. Please don't skip any of them. Use separate answer sheet to write your answers. You may compare your answers on the answer key on page 14 of this module for you to determine if you can proceed to the next part of the module or you need to watch again this video. If you are done with the activities and assessments on the what's more part, you may proceed to the generalization on page 10 for the summary of what you have learned. Relate our lesson with your daily activities through the what can I do part. Then, take the post assessment after. Through this part, you would be able to determine if you attained the learning objectives or not. If your score is 10, you may do the additional activity. If it is 9 or 8, read again the part where you think you did not understand and answer again the question. If your score is 7 or below, watch again this video or contact your teacher for clarifications, then answer the post-assessment after. 
I hope you learned a lot from this video. See you again in the next module. Have a good day!